guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Art Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Sprout Tower pretty quickly right there, just because we got uh, Cyndaquil. Oh yeah, and by the way, Cyndaquil evolved into Kalava. So let, let's take a look at Cinder right here. Look at that. He's uh, majestic and all that stuff. Two flames and all that stuff. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Very, very good Pokemon right here. Now, we're going to be going up against uh, Faulkner, the gym leader of the Violet City Gym. And, well, we didn't really need to train our Pokemon that much anymore because he does have flying-type Pokemon. And it, was, it happens to be very convenient for us that we got ourselves an electric-type Pokemon. As you can see here, Faulkner, the elegant master of flying Pokemon. Let's see how elegant he is. Now, let's go right through this. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. The only man that's ever believed in us, ever. Yo, champ in the making! I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me. If you, be if you believe, then a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep, in keep this in mind. Wow. That... Wow, that is nothing. Wow, that just, uh, wow, that, that was, that was so anticlimactic. So, look at that. I do love the, the way he just, like, you know, they, they remade the whole gym right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with Fluffle. The only downside to Fluffle is that it's not quick enough. So, we're going to have to deal with that. And as you can see, I can't believe how ridiculously high this is. But from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let's see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. All right. Let's go. Bring it. Birdkeeper Abe wants the battle coming with his Spearow, and, uh, well, time to take these Thunder Shocks right here. Not super effective, and luckily for us, Bloodbolt does have static, so, you know, go right ahead. Physically attack me. You will get hurt. Oh, you get shot. All that stuff. Okay, so, let's move on right here. Continuing on. That's one down. Another one to go. And here we have... Ho-ho! Oh, you some kind of big shot? We'll see. We'll see what happens if you get pushed around a bit here. Think, uh, think you'll stagger and fall? People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on! Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Bird Keeper Rod wants the battle, and so let's go with the Fluff Bolt. And let's destroy everybody with Fluff Bolt. Look at that. Super effective. And he's going to be coming up with another Pidgey, so let's continue on right here. Pidgeys. About to eat this thunder shank right there. Bam. Okay, so Rod has been defeated. So now what I'm gonna do right here is I know that this has been going quickly, so what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so there we go. We have uh put the we put the speed down just a little bit. Now let's go ahead and talk to the gym leader right here. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Gym uh, Pokemon gym leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with the jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Going up against Faulkner, the gym leader of the Violet City Gym, and he does have himself some uh, bird type Pokemon right there. Now I'm actually downing this uh, the speed right here. So, let's go right ahead and just destroy him. I won't be going into descriptions because, yes, we already did it. And this is a remake game, so I'm not really going to waste my time on that. As you can see, Fluttvolt kicking butt, ticking names. And we're going to be going up against a Pidgeotto right here. Not that strong, especially <laughs> since we got the cheat code right here, Fluttvolt. And, well, they're going to be speedy against us. But here we go with the Thundershock. Nearly takes him out, and now it's paralyzed, so now we got a little bit of a speed advantage. And he's like, we can still fly. No, you can't. Here we go. Thundershock. Finish him. And that's how you do that, guys. <laughs> Bam! Fluffolt grows to level 14 and learned Thunder Wave. Understand how about it gracefully? <laughs> okay. He's like, for pity's sake, my dad's cherished Pokemon! But a defeat is a defeat. Alright, take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. Bam! We got the Zephyr badge, guys. I'm throwing out that peace sign. I am throwing out that peace sign. With that badge, Poke or with that badge, Pokemon, including traded uh, uh, Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. 
It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. And look at that, we get ourselves uh, the TM-51, which is a Roost, I believe. No, it's not Roost. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be used only once. Oh yeah, it is Roost. Never mind. TM-51 contains Roost. It restores half the max HP. There are Pokemon, ga there are Pokemon gyms in the cities and towns ahead. Make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Very, very quickly. Very, very quick stuff. Okay, so that is pretty much that. And, well, let's see. That was a quick battle. Quick episode. I get it, guys. You don't like quick episodes and all that crud. But that's how that's how we do it. Now, before, now after you leave the gym, you're going to get a phone call from Professor Elm right here. And he's like, Hello, Draven? We discovered something. The details are, well... I can't really say anything, but we want to we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemart in Violet City. Could you can you go and meet him and uh, pick up that egg? Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna get that Pokemon egg right here. And as many of you guys already know, that Pokemon egg contains Togepi. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, uh, good day, Draven, isn't it? I have a package for you. Here you go. Oh, for my mom. Okay, so Mama delivered us something. We got ourselves a super potion. And here's the professor's aide. He's like, long time no see, Draven. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. Sure. And look at that. We got ourselves the Pokemon egg. Pretty good stuff right there. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I had no idea what they uh, were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I, th I can't think of anyone more suited than Draven. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here to deliver the egg to, or to you. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Draven. Please take care of it. Okay, alrighty. So that is that, and uh, well, that was a pretty good episode, and right when you leave this, holy crap, this is a Komodo girl. M me oh my, that egg must be, I see. So it was handed from, uh, from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. What the hell? That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Is that understood? Sure, sure, why not? Sure, sure. I'll do that. Oh, she's spinning around. I'm counting on you. Okay, alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So that right there is that. And, well, more surprises to come, guys. More surprises to come, believe it or not, guys. In Heart Gold, Soul Silver, they, they knocked it out of the park, which I am very, very happy for. So... Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode.